Hey everyone, and Happy New Year. I'm here today to talk about my bookish New Year's resolutions, or goals, or wants, and also give you what I'm currently reading. Let's get into it. Most of these goals are pretty loose, and they're just about making sure that I keep reading as a positive thing in my life and not something that stresses me out or causes unnecessary worry. <laughs> and the first one is to focus on pleasure and what I want to read and really focus on picking what I want to read in the moment and less focus on numbers and new releases. I haven't always been that big on new releases but I do find myself getting caught up in it every now and then and this is kind of not where I'm at. I like to read the books that I've accumulated and I like to just read whatever picks my fancy so I just want to focus on that this year. The second one is my Goodreads goal. I had been debating about whether or not to set it at 100 which had has been my Goodreads goal for the last few years and I've always exceeded it but this year I am starting full-time work for the first time. I'm also living in a new state. Uh, there's like a lot of change going on and yeah, <laughs> I don't know how much I'm going to read. I don't know if I'm going to read more or less. I really doubt it'll be more, but yeah. So I've set it at 100 and that's just because I know that I read often and that that may translate into a lot of books. I have kind of set the idea that I will evaluate it again at like June, July and if it looks like I'm not going to reach it, I'm just going to change it because I don't want it to like ruin my fun of reading. <laughs> the next goal is to make more videos and not care about being inconsistent. Like I said, I've got a lot of change going on this year so I don't want to set goals that I know that I'm going to fail. Uh, so yeah, as much as I would love to do like one to two videos a week, I know I'm not going to do that. So I think even if I get one video out a month, that is still better than nothing and I would be proud of that. A uh, really common one, I think I said this every year, and I, I, I do, I, I try a little, and that is to read more sequels and try and finish some series. I was quite good last year at not starting a lot of new series, but there's just a few that I need to tie up loose ends or keep going with because I'm reading some huge series like Discworld or the In-Death series by J.D. Robb. I wouldn't mind continuing to read those. I also would like to read more graphic novels. I'm in the middle of two graphic novel series at the moment, uh, Saga and Why the Last Man, and I'm enjoying both of them, but I never set aside time to read them, so that's why I kind of wanted to write it down and talk about it because I need to remind myself that I actually want to do that. It's just not something that I innately go to do. So I have followed on along with uh, with the Instagram trend of having a TBR cart which is like a small trolley that can house books and and also tea. And so I have decided to use that as like my immediate TBR so books that I want to read soon and those also house the books that I have purchased recently because I would like to read them soon. So one of my goals is to not take books off of that until I've read it, which means that I can't buy heaps and heaps and heaps of books because I have to read what I've already got. I don't know how well I'll stick to this, but I'm trying to see if like having like the cart in front of me almost all the time kind of reminds me of the books that I've gotten recently and the books that I'm actually actively excited to get to and whether or not that'll actually curb my book buying. I think it will, so I'm I'm hopeful that this will stick. I also would like to try annotating more. I got into this about a year or two ago and I've really liked it, like just underlining things or making notes in something. It just, I don't know, it makes it a more personal experience and for books that really hit home or really speak to me on some deep level, I really enjoy that. So, and I also love going back and seeing my annotations because I think it's just it's just a nice way to revisit and see where my mind was at when I first read that book. I just I just think it's really nice, so I'd like to continue doing it. Yeah, so that's about it. So most of my resolutions this year are based around enjoying reading and making sure that I do that, make sure that I allow myself to mood read instead of just making like massive huge TBR lists that I'm never going to get to. 
I don't want to do that. I want to read what I want to read and I want to enjoy it and I want to talk to you guys about it. <laughs> so now I'm going to get into what I'm currently reading. I read a lot of books at once and I really like that because then I can mood read. I can jump between uh, one genre to another genre in the same day, which is the type of reader that I am. So I'm going to go through the books in the order in which I started them because I started some months ago. And the first one is Journey to the West Volume 1 by Chen Yan Wu. I am reading this because it's one of my close friends' favourite book series and I also have a passion for reading classics, especially translated classics. I'm about a th just over a third of a way through and I'm quite enjoying it. It's fairly whimsical and fun. The next book I'm reading, I started because I was moving and I wasn't sure how many books I was going to be able to bring. Spoiler, I was allowed to bring a lot more than I first thought. And I wanted to try and read some of the books that I couldn't convert into ebooks or that I didn't have ebooks of. And this one had been sitting on my shelf for a while. So, yeah. That book is The Penguin Book of Mon Fantasy by Women. And it's got a long list of authors in here. And it's not that modern. I think this was published in like 85. But so far, the stories have been kind of eerie, but still really great. I'm not that far through, um, and I am I'm enjoying picking up a story here and there. It's it's not bad. <laughs> the next book I'm reading is Havana by Mark Kalansky. I picked this up because I enjoyed Mark Kalansky's book about paper. That was such a great book. I just, yeah, that was such a great microhistory, and since then I've just been trying to get my hands on every microhistory possible. So far, I'm, like, kind of meh about Havana but it still is kind of fun to read because he is a good writer. The next book I'm reading is uh, the Griffith Review number 62 called All Being Equal and it's a collection of novellas about that reflect about one year since the yes vote in Australia, uh, the yes vote for marriage equality. Uh, I'm only on the second novella so far but the first one was absolutely fantastic and the second one is also fantastic and I've heard great things about some of the other novellas in the collection, so I'm pretty excited just to keep going because it's so good. Uh, yeah, I can't, I'm really glad that I picked it up. <laughs> the next book I'm reading I picked up because of a recommendation from Chelsea from The Reading Outlaw, and that is Beyond Shame by Kit Rocker. Rocha? I'm trying. <laughs> uh, and it is uh, really out of my comfort zone, but I'm actually enjoying it. So it is post-apocalyptic, well it's set in a post-apocalyptic world, but it's kind of BDSM erotica. It's not what I normally read, but it, it is really fun and I'm enjoying myself and I'm really glad that I picked it up. Also, it was free, so that's a bonus. The next book I'm reading is part of my continuation of reading the Throne of Glass series. I only ever got up to Air of Fire, not because I disliked it, just because when I finished Air of Fire, only Queen of Shadows was out, and I didn't want to keep reading until the rest of the series was out, so I stopped. And now it's out, and I'm so far behind. <laughs> yeah, so I'm currently on Queen of Shadows, and not very far into it. Not at all. And I am enjoying it, but I don't know what it is, but because this, is, this series is finished, I am reading this so slowly, and it's so abnormal for me. I'm enjoying it, but it's taking me forever. And the last book I'm reading is a relatively new acquisition that I was able to get uh, at the Boxing Day sales and I'm really happy about. I started last night and I'm really enjoying it. And that book is The Gender Games by Juno Dawson. I love reading about gender and I love reading about personal experiences between transitioning and about playing with gender. I have just always enjoyed reading about those things because I find it so fascinating. Honestly, Juno has such a wonderful voice. She's so honest and authentic about her experiences that it's such a pleasure to read. I'm only like 35 pages into this and I am loving it. I cannot wait to sit down and read more of it. So those were my new year's resolutions and the books that I'm currently reading. Let me know if you have similar bookish resolutions. Do you find that you don't let yourself mood read when you know that you are? Is this only a problem I have? I don't know. Well, I wish you all the best for the new year and that you get to read lots of lovely, lovely books. Bye!